Armed police spanned out across London as the manhunt for the person who left a homemade bomb on a commuter train intensified. Oh, is that bag on fire? This cell phone video of a burning bucket with wires sticking out of it appears to show the device moments after it went off. Sources tell CBS News the device contained Christmas lights, a timer and loose screws, possibly intended as shrapnel. We heard screams, really, really loud screams. It didn't fully explode, but the loud noise was enough to trigger a stampede. People were just getting crushed and we were just trampling each other and it was just every man for themselves. More than two dozen people were taken to area hospitals, mostly with flash burns. ISIS issued a statement taking responsibility for the attack. The terror group promised what's to come is even more vicious and bitter. The incident here in southwest London led officials to raise the UK threat level from severe to critical. By working together, we will defeat them. British Prime Minister Theresa May sought to reassure the public while issuing a veiled critique of President Trump. I never think it's helpful for anybody to speculate on what is an ongoing investigation. Earlier, the president tweeted those responsible for the blast were, quote, sick and demented people in the sights of Scotland Yard. We have to be very smart. We have to be very, very tough. President Trump later spoke to Prime Minister May by phone and pledged to work with her to combat terrorism worldwide. Gavin Ramjorn for CBS News, London.